Thursday morning on a beautiful Thursday morning. It's a little foggy outside, but uh, Katie and I are excited to share with you guys this morning. And um, you know, last night we had our second installment, or at least our second portion of the first week in the Guys and Girls series, and we were talking about decisions. And, and decisions was about how we make decisions in life. It's about how guys and girls make decisions differently, but then it also took another turn about how guys and girls make certain decisions when they interact with each other. And so it was a complex evening with a lot of really good conversation. Um, I was blessed by it, and I hope that you guys were blessed by it as well. One of the things we talked about was James chapter 1, verse 5. And uh, James reminds us that God offers us wisdom, and we all need wisdom in how we uh, make decisions. And, and I was thinking about what are the wisdom that we want to see in each other as we make decisions, as we, as we interact across gender lines, and, and what is some of the wisdom that maybe we drew from our small group conversation last night? And one of the things that came out of our small group time was a conversation around boundaries. And there was a really great conversation that took place about um, setting up healthy boundaries so that people can um, relate in healthy ways, but also tearing down the false boundaries, or what they're called walls, where that that maybe bar us or become barriers for us in relating in healthy ways. And so I thought that was a really great point and um, a great piece of wisdom when it comes to interacting across gender lines. Yeah, another point that came out in uh, the other small group last night was just sincerity and being genuine and actually saying what you mean instead of masking uh, what you're actually feeling and hoping that the other person picks up on it. But kind of going with boundaries, of letting yourself be vulnerable in the appropriate situations to build real relationships and friendships. And going with that, um, listening and understanding. Understanding that there are differences in the ways that we communicate with each other. And if you're able to pick up on that, it makes it a lot easier, but it's also really hard. So work at it and just listen to people when they talk. Don't feel pressured to have a response just be there for them. Um, and really just begin to try to understand one person at a time instead of trying to feel like you are being forced into understanding 800 different people in a whole new way. Yeah. Hey, we love you guys. We're grateful for you. Hope you have a blessed day. And of course, we are continuously asking that God would give all of us as a community wisdom uh, to best make decisions in life, but also to best make decisions about how we interact with one another, uh, no matter whether it's across gender lines or any other uh, element of diversity. So uh, we'll see you later. Bye. What's the deal? Can't you read?